have you ever used the OBS shader filter and it just sometimes seems like it's not doing anything or maybe it even just completely crashes your OBS? No! 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 Yeah, it's pretty frustrating. This is why I'm telling you in this video to stop using it. Just stop. I'm going to show you what you need to be using instead. I'm Andy, crack that like button and subscribe if you're new and let's get into it. Put your rock over the stone. Are you a YouTuber looking to elevate your channel? Introducing TubeBuddy, your go-to tool for YouTube channel management, optimization, and growth. Navigate the SEO landscape with ease, cut down on keyword research time, and so much more, all with a single click on TubeBuddy. With TubeBuddy's handy browser plugin, you'll have access to a suite of amazing tools right within YouTube's interface. Check out my favorite, Suggested Shorts. Hit the TB icon in YouTube Studio, let TubeBuddy scan your videos, voila! Up to eight short suggestions based on metrics that actually matter. As a YouTuber who's relied on TubeBuddy from the start, I can confidently say my journey wouldn't have been the same without it. Use the link in the description to download TubeBuddy for free and grab a 20% discount on the Pro and Legend plans with code ANDYBUDDY20. Embark on your YouTube journey with TubeBuddy today. So your shader filter replacement is... Well, it's shader filter. Yeah, shader filter is replacing shader filter. Confusing, I know, but yeah, kind of clickbait. Yeah, I know, clickbait, be right. But wait, 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 hear me out. This version of shader filter is completely different. To start with, it is actually usable and stable. This version has only been downloaded just over 2,000 times. It's over 2,000! So I'm guessing you haven't got it yet. You can check if you have it by using my brand new OBS plugin update checker. Yet, yeah, I made a plugin to check if your other plugins need updates. It's cool. It's free. Get it installed via the links below. If you need help, I'll leave the instruction video just up here. After installing, open OBS, press tools, stream up, then check product requirements. If you don't have this version of Shader Filter, it will be listed under the plugins missing section. Just click the hyperlink to download it. Please note, this part of the plugin update checker only works on Windows, but this version of Shader Filter is actually available for Windows, Mac and Linux so you will need to check manually on the other platforms. If you are one of those 2,000 people that have it installed already, then I guess I'll, I'll see you in the next video, alright? But before you go though, tell me in the comments if you actually had this version and, well, your thoughts on it. Now, for the rest of you, let's check this bad boy out. This version of Shader Filter is created by the one, the only, Exceldro. I have kind of spoken already about his fork of the shader filter plugin in the past, but this is the finished version and it has changed a lot since the last time I did a video about it. Let's talk first about the quality of life improvements. When adding a new filter to a source or scene, you can add the user defined shader. All of this will look very familiar. Uh, we can select our shader text from file, Opening a shader or effect file, well, to start with, it won't crash or have any errors. You will notice the parameters for the shader or effect have easier to use controls. Exceldro has gone through every single one and added relative minimum and maximum values so you can easily adjust them and see how they work easier. The values now are easier to control as they aren't huge float values anymore. This means when increasing and decreasing values, they actually make sensible adjustments, rather than changing by 0.00001. Yeah, nobody likes that. 
Not only have all of the shaders been updated and optimized, there are also a ton of new ones. Here is a list of all the ones that have been added in this version of Shader Filter. Some of these are absolutely incredible and more keep getting added from time to time. This is the beauty of having a great plugin maker like Exceldro. He is committed to providing the best plugins and support and He's keeping them all up to date, which is awesome. Something cool that has been added is another feature Stream Effects had. Some of these shaders, such as the Multiply or Add shaders, will allow you to use an image as a mask, but you can also use a scene or a source as a mask too. This means you could create dynamic masks with a little bit of experimenting. If you would like to see a dedicated tutorial on this, then please let me know in the comments down below. I have tried most of these shaders and effects and have never run into any issues. If you do run into any issues, please share the crash logs and errors with Exceldro so he can add fixes to the plugin or just speak up if there's anything you wish this plugin could do. I have heard that more features will be added, so make sure you have my Stream Up OBS plugin installed so you get notified of a new update. If you want to find out more about the plugin update and then click up here, if this video helped you, then crack that like and help me out. Thanks for watching. Put your rock in with a stone.